Hello, this is Robert Jones. I am Beowulf here on Bushcraft USA. Just want to say I've been on the uh, site for a while as a member, a supporting member, and I really enjoy it. And as a way of showing my appreciation to uh, those who built the site, own it, uh, moderate it, and all that, as well as all the people who contribute, I want to give away a free sheet. And I thought I'd make it interesting for you, and so what we're going to do is have a little contest. I've got about 20 or 25 knives down here on my left-hand side. A vast majority of them are factory blades, and the contest is you guess what they are. And, I mean, you, 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 I'm going to show them to you, and, and but I'm not going to tell you what they are. And you write it down and PM me, and you got to do it in order. And I'm going to show you the blades. Uh, I'm going to have to make my video pretty quick here, so I'll explain more rules to you later. But uh, here's my first knife right here. Show you the knife. You look at it. You can pause your video, of course. And we're just going to click along if you know what that is. Okay, that's number one. Here's a knife I've had for a really long time. Just tell me uh, the make and model, who made it, and what type of knife it is. Uh, as much information as you know, we, you'd need to know to identify it. That's number two. You can write all this stuff down. Here's a real popular knife. I made this sheath um, for Molly compatible. Put a rivet at the top and the bottom, little thing for a fire steel. What kind of knife is that? This is a gift. I've had it for some time from a special person. I haven't used it. It's uh, probably worth uh, something now. Beautiful blade. This is an old one. I've used a fair amount. I've got one similar to it that I've used a whole lot. I've used this little baby a lot, skinned a lot of deer with this over the years. It's been a good go-to knife for skinning. Had some words on there at one time. I scraped them off many, many years ago. Just tell me what this little jewel is. It's a combo sheath I've done. This one's horizontal, but what we're concerned with here is the knives. What is that jewel right there? So you do this one. We're doing them in order, okay? Then after you do that one, you do this little baby. Good combo unit. Speaking of combo units, tell me about this. Got all that? There you go. What's this knife right here? Didn't get that. I've used this one a whole lot in the old days. Used to use this for a butchering sheep. It's real good for um, uh, slitting throat, which it's done quite a few times. Got it? 
So all you gotta do is keep up with these and write them all down. This one, I got this knife when it first came out back in the old days. And it has been used a lot. It's pretty well uh, scratched up, but it's held up well over the years. I polish this brass every now and then and made uh, this sheath for it. Tell me about this. I think the last thing I skinned with that was a beaver. Skinned him, barbecued him in the oven, and took him to church for fellowship lunch. But I did tell people what it was. And they ate it all and wanted more. This also is one of the originals. Had it for some time. like this sheath, I'm keeping this one in my personal collection because of the little uh, like leopard spots on it. But anyway, what we're concerned with is this. I don't make these anymore. It's a collector's item now. It's given to me as a gift, and so I'm going to keep it in a collectible condition. Feel free to look these babies up online. Do your research. Don't just guess. Tell me what it is. I got to move along here because can't have a long video. Only got a few more. This also is the original. And you can pause your video to get a better look. Okay. Obviously this is a custom knife. Look on my website www.handsownleather.com. Look around on there. Uh, it's something that I sell right on the website. You can find it. Give me the maker's name and what he calls that knife. Same thing with this one. Notice the round butt. And this is very similar, but it's got a square butt and it's uh, just a hair thicker this way. So you have to go to my website, find the maker's name and the style, and you got it. And one last of his. Save this monster for last. It's about 5 sixteenths. So I'll explain the uh, rules once again on the video. Again, this is Beowulf. Robert Jones from handsomeleather.com and enjoy the contest. Thank you.